Anyway. So, yeah, so there's a trilogy that we like to talk about here between Jeremy Horn and, and Chel Sonnen, who you obviously just referenced. <laughs> a trilogy generally means there's some sort of tiebreaker or controversy. One the only one. thing that happened in those fights is that Jeremy Horn finished them a different way every single time. Yeah. <laughs> so how does, and I respect Chel. Like I, I, I do like Chel and I, I watch his pro his show, but how does a trilogy <laughs> like that happen? Like it doesn't even make sense. Like I say, you gotta you gotta have one guy that doesn't have all his marbles. If if you got if you got that guy, <laughs> there's a chance. And I really think, and I can, I actually like Chael, uh, but I think he just couldn't believe he would look <laughs> at Jeremy and just could not believe that he can't beat that guy. And and I don't think he's alone. I think there's a lot of guys that just after they're done, they're like, how did I lose to that guy? <laughs> you know, and and uh, um, I remember uh, Gary Myers, good friend of Chris's. Gary Myers. Oh yeah, he fought for me at, at Extreme Challenge One, and the only opening I had was Jeremy. And and I know I've known Gary Myers since he was sixteen. I was the sports editor of the paper in Muncie when he was a great wrestler. So That's I knew right. I knew all these guys. And and I and I go, I I, I told him like, Gary, I go. I don't want you to lose on my show. And I go, he, he goes, send me a tape of him. So I did. And Gary comes back. He goes, Monty, he goes, if I lose to that guy, he goes, I'll quit the sport right there. And I'm like, he's a lot better than you think. And, and he's a lot. And he, he just said, I'll be fine. And then, you know, Jeremy Armbard him in the first round. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, that's the feeling you look and you just think, I, I can't, I can't, no way I'm going to lose to that guy. It's <laughs> right. happened 94 times, 95 times. <laughs> right. So, so Monty in Jeremy's got like 130, 140 fights. Something and like that. that's me like guesstimating on a low end. And he disclosed to us in his interview that he's never suffered a cut before in a fight. Yeah. Unreal. Never been knocked down except when, when he fought, uh, Liddell for the, uh, for the title, he, uh. he kind of set back. He, it wasn't really dropped, but in, in his entire time, he's never been knocked out. He's never had a cut. He's never, I mean. He might be a lizard person. That's what we surmised. <laughs> that's yeah, might, that's not know, right. <laughs> you know, he, Pat Militich's conspiracy farm might want to take a deep dive yeah. into Jeremy Horn. <laughs> he, and I'll tell you the thing. Hey, at least he, at Hooker Shoot, we gave him a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> Good but work. Wasn't yeah. that when he tried to get paid? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no. Uh, you know the thing with Jeremy? He could still fight another 10 years. I'm still serious. Fight he freak. He, there's, it, the stuff that he does is so unique. And, and it's part of it is the, the confidence. And he never panics. And, and, and just the way he does things, it never gets old. He's uh, you know, he, he, he needs to get in better shape. He wants to make one more kind of run at some good fights, not to be a champion or anything. Just, I think he kind of like to get to a hundred wins officially on the yeah, thing. You can't blame him. You can't yeah, blame no, him. I, I, I'm the one trying to give it to him. I'm trying to put him on shows and, and, uh, you know, I mean, but, uh, he needs uh, to money. get back down to 205. He's about money. 225 the last fight. It's, it's so weird, buddy. Usually with a fighter, you know, the sport passes them up. You see so many guys from that era, they, they're, they're really good to a certain point, and then the sport evolves, it moves. Um, it just hasn't seemed to happen with him yet. You know, he just seems to be able to move with the sport. It's very strange. Well, he says, he goes, the reason that the sport doesn't pass him by is because in striking, he's never been a good striker. He goes, in wrestling, he's never wrestled. <laughs> um so it can't pass you by when it started out ahead of you right so <laughs> he's he, he just is he together it's like the perfect storm he has just enough striking just enough grappling and then then a, well better than average grappling but re right. just enough wrestling he would drive me crazy in how he'd let people take him down and i would say damn it jeremy stop letting them you know make them work at it he goes, but I don't care if they take me down. And I'm like, but <laughs> I go, but if it goes to a decision, yeah, you know, you you are, you're in trouble. He goes, I'll, if he keeps taking me down, I'll catch him. And those were the fights he lost 
with it like Babalu in Denver. He, no doubt he had that fight won. And he just kept letting Babalu hang in there because he kept thinking early in, the, in that fight, he almost caught him. And from that point, he said, I'm going to get him. He's going to make that mistake. And, and it wasn't until there's three minutes left and, and uh, Babalu is doing nothing but holding on for dear life because he's got a one and Jeremy didn't, didn't sub him. And those were, he, he almost got overconfident in his, his submissions, mm. you know, but yeah. why not if you're submitting at a 85%, you know, rate. 